Hot Dog on a Stick is a fast food restaurant chain that opened in 1946. Thank you for your suggestions. During the 1930s, Dave Barham moved to Detroit with the dream of one day heading General Motors. Instead, he became a window washer and, like many Midwesterners at the time, began to dream of moving to California, lying on the beach and watching palm trees swaying in the ocean breeze. In 1939, he convinced his wife to move to Southern California, where he found work testing radar and radio equipment at Lockheed Aircraft and at every opportunity visited Santa Monica's Muscle Beach. A small concession selling cotton candy, ice cream, and snow cones caught his eye, and he began badgering the owner to sell the business to him, which is what eventually transpired. Borrowing $400 from his older brother Hugh, Marum bought the business in 1946, renaming it Party Puffs. Instead of selling cotton candy, ice cream, and snow cones, he developed his hot dog on a stick that could be eaten while strolling the beach. For the batter, he modified his mother's cornbread recipe, then fried the battered covered hot dogs in cooking oil. Always the promoter, Barham claimed the stick performed three functions. It acted as a handy handle, provided hickory smoke flavoring, and could serve as a toothpick after the hot dogs were eaten. Barham also sold lemonade, attempting to make it with honey to eliminate the need for sugar. Ironically, for someone who would become known as the hot dog king, Barham was a bit of a health nut, a runner long before jogging became popular, a man who seldom ate meat and was conscientious about his diet. Because Muscle Beach was experiencing problems with broken glass in the sand, he served his lemonade in a green paper cup which also became a signature element of the business. He liked to boast at the time, we wash our dishes with a match. Marum would always buy his hot dogs from Oscar Mayer before he turned to all turkey dogs in the late 1980s and relied on one grower in Ventura County for his lemons. In 1948, he began selling hot dogs on a stick and lemonade at the Los Angeles County Fair establishing a relationship that would last for the rest of his life. For the next 35 years, he operated trailers at a dozen fairs, the profit of which was instrumental in supporting the growth of the hot dog on a stick chain. He also tried to sell his hot dog on a stick idea to other fair concessionaires, traveling the fair circuit around the country with little more than a bowl, some ingredients, and a whip to make the batter. However, vendors were able to concoct their own batters to make corn dogs, and while the item became a staple around the country, Barham failed to profit from the fair business beyond the trailers he ran. In the early 1950s, Barham began opening hot dog on a stick stands on other California beaches. Customers never did understand why the operations were called party puffs, which is perhaps an allusion to the hot dog batter which Barham always called Party Batter, and so around 1960, he dropped the name in favor of Hot Dog on a Stick. Later in the 1960s, Barham paid a visit to Las Vegas, where he was inspired to develop the chain's classic uniform. He noticed how the Las Vegas showgirls wore the same elaborate costumes and headdresses, so they not only stood out, but also appeared interchangeable. More importantly to Barham, they appeared familiar. His idea was to outfit his people in brightly colored uniforms to offer something of a show to his customers, while also showing the impression that the same person was waiting on them, turning each hot dog on a stick stand into a familiar place. He used the sleeveless top with vertical stripes of red, white, blue, and yellow, along with then popular hot pants. The origin of the famous cap worn by employees of the Hot Dog on the Stick was a visit Barham made to a horse show where he admired the caps the riders wore, which he made taller in the fashion of a Las Vegas showgirl headdress. The uniform made its debut at the Indio Fairgrounds near Palm Springs, California. 
To further accentuate the height of the employees, Marum would also install platforms behind the counter so that his employees stood out even more. Realizing that beach locations were limited, Barham began looking for other places where potential customers could be found. In the early 1970s, he directed his attention to shopping malls, which were growing in popularity. His first venture into the mall was in a neighborhood mall called the Old Town Mall in Torrance, where a hot dog on a stick stand opened in 1972 but already his sights were set on a larger enclosed regional mall. Barham would open another location in a larger enclosed mall at the Fashion Place Mall in Murray, Utah. As had been the case on the beach, speedy friendly service, the portability of the hot dog on a stick, and a lemonade in a paper cup proved to be a winning concept. The new outlet, which opened in November of 1973, also sold deep fried cheese on a stick, a new menu item introduced around this time. Once Barham gained entry into one mall, he found it easier to convince other mall landlords to allow him into their properties, since they now had a chance to see how the concept worked in practice. Moreover, by keeping his food costs to a minimum, Barham was willing to pay a higher rent than other tenants. The profits from the fair business would now prove instrumental in the chain's expansion drive as Hot Dog on a Stick became increasingly dedicated to its mall locations. A few units would be franchised operations, but the vast majority were company owned, which offered a greater payoff. By 1980, the chain had 23 stores doing about $3 million a year in business. Over the course of the 1980s, Barham added approximately 50 units. In late 1989, he began to develop a succession plan. In order to reward his loyal employees, he decided to set up an Employee Stock Ownership Plan, or ESOP, to enable them to take over the chain, choosing this option because he believed it would allow his employees the best opportunity to buy the company with pre-tax dollars. He split off the fair concession business, which was turned over to his children, Dan, Gary, and Diane. Gary eventually bought out his siblings. In addition to creating a trust that gave the employees an option to purchase the company, Barham also handpicked a nine-person management committee to run the business. In March of 1991, Dave Barham died from pneumonia and lung complications at the age of 77 just before the chain he founded was about to open its 90th store in a shopping mall. During the six years following the death of Dave Barham, Hot Dog on a Stick essentially followed the path already laid out by its founder, the only real change being in 1994 with the addition of french fries to the menu. Then in 1998, management began instituting some significant changes. A design agency was hired to help the company pursue a rebranding effort after 30 years of relying on the same logo and packaging designs. As a result, the company decided to brand its popular lemonade. For decades, it was simply called Original Lemonade, but now it became Muscle Beach Lemonade. The company even decided to take a fresh look at its iconic uniform, much to the concern of the employees who were devoted to it. In the end, though, the only alteration was the addition of a cap sleeve. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Hot Dog on a Stick launched a concept built around its popular lemonade called Muscle Beach Lemonade and Hot Dogs. The company also entered into a co-branding arrangement with a pretzel chain. A more ambitious expansion move was the purchase of the Juicy Lucy's hamburger chain in the year 2000. In the 2003 movie, Charlie's Angel Full Throttle, Drew Barrymore and Lucy Liu would pose as employees for Hot Dog on a Stick. Hot Dog on a Stick also looked to develop frozen corn dogs and frozen lemonade products for sale in grocery stores. However, with a downturn in the economy and stretched thin by the expenditures of its diversification efforts, Hot Dog on a Stick abandoned the Muscle Beach concept and returned to focusing on its core Hot Dog on a Stick business. In addition, the Juicy Lucy's hamburger chain 
which had proved difficult to run, was sold to Ultimate Franchise Systems in 2004. On July 22, 2021, Global Franchise Group was acquired by Fat Brands, owner of Fat Burger and Johnny Rockets. In October of 2022, the iconic hot dog on a stick at Muscle Beach in Santa Monica reopened after a series of renovations. At the time of the opening, there were 50 locations. Today, there are currently 48 locations of hot dog on a stick across Hawaii, California, Nevada, Utah, and New Mexico. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Yeah, bringing back memories from the good old days. That's super cool, man.